Please be certain you're well prepared. Sorry to bother you, but you wouldn't happen to have seen this girl around anywhere, would you? Oh my, what a cute little lady. But no, I'm afraid I haven't seen her. I'm so very sorry. There's nothing to apologize for. If I may also ask, have you ever heard of a delusion contractor cannon? He's known for wearing a pink cape. I can't say I've ever heard of a delusion contractor before. And I'm not exactly hip to the fashion of today's youth, but I can hardly believe someone would wear a pink cape. You're not the only one. But did you say his name was Cannon? Isn't he that nice man who they say makes people's dreams come true? I guess you could say that. But it's more like he finds out what you want and builds a fake dream out of that. Aren't all dreams fake? Besides, any man who works that hard could only exist in a dream. It's not really as glamorous as you might think. These aren't even dreams. They're just delusions. Is that so? Well, delusions certainly aren't anything nice kids like you should be getting caught up in. At any rate, you've given me some fun gossip to share with my husband tonight. So thank you very much. <laughs> uh, this guy. Hey, Giggles, you got a sec? Uh, huh? D did you need some something from me? We're looking for someone. Any chance you've seen this girl? W who is she? She, she doesn't seem, seem like she'd be my type. I, I only have uh, eyes from the away. I don't care if she's your type. I'm asking if you've seen her. <laughs> No, no, I, I haven't. I, I don't remember seeing any g girls other than my Moe. Cool beans. Sorry to take up your time. Oh, but before I go, thanks, Nekara. Uh huh? For, 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 for what? Well, you probably don't remember, but you did help us save Moe. Oh, that's right. He was one of the witnesses who saw Cannon. C -c Cannon? Forget about it. Seems like you have once before, anyway. Take care, man. I don't. Sorry. Uh, uh, okay. Then can you tell me if you know anything about Delusion Contractor Cannon? Delusion Contractor Cannon? Yeah, I mean, I think I've heard of him. He's famous for wearing a pink cape. Does that ring any bells? Oh yeah, the pink cape guy. Okay, I've definitely heard of him. Lots of chatter about him around recently. Um, great. What kind of chatter? Well, a friend from my dance circle was just talking about him. He said he saw a weird man with a pink cape holding a cane. A cane? Was he an older man then? <sighs> Who knows? Honestly, I still don't think he's anything more than a figment of someone's overactive imagination. That's what we're trying to determine. I appreciate your time. Take a break. Uh -huh. 
girl. My, what a lovely goth Loli. Does that mean you've seen her? Oh, no, sorry. I was just talking about her style. She totally nailed the gothic Lolita look, but I don't recognize her. Well, thank you anyway. Any chance you've heard of a man named Cannon? Cannon? As in THE Cannon? You know him? Well, in the same way a lot of people know him. He's supposed to be a... Uh, what was it again? Dream contractor? Delusion. And yeah, that's the guy. Do you have any choice morsels of information about him, though? Nothing more than the name. Are you trying to find him for some reason? Well, we think he might be with the girl we showed you, so we're keeping an eye out for either of them. He shouldn't exactly blend into the crowd with that pink cape of his. Wait, do you know him? No, not personally. That's why we're trying to find someone who does. Pink capes? Dream building? He really is kind of a legend around here, isn't he? I hope I can meet him someday. spoke before I thought there. I feel like I have, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. Maybe. I can't really place when or where. Sorry. I see. Thank you for your time. Actually, hold on. Do you know anything about the Delusion Contractor Cannon by any chance? Cannon? Delusion Contractor? The heck is that? He's a man in a pink cape. Have you seen anyone who matches that description? A pink cape? Man. <laughs> If I had, you can bet I wouldn't forget it. They say if you meet him, he'll take you to a wonderful world where all your fantasies come true. Sound at all familiar? Whoa, seriously? You're telling me that if I meet this pink caped dude, he can take me into the 2D world? Huh? No, it's not real. Ugh. Man, I'd love to live in a world of 2D. Can you think of anything better? Average dudes like me are always becoming heroes and getting harems of beautiful heroines and anime, so... <sighs> and we've lost him. Come on, let's find someone else to ask. Not a single clue pointing us toward Katomi's location, huh? A whole lot of people pass through Akiba every day. It isn't easy to pull one person out of the mess of faces. So, what's our next step? Do we look for more shady figures to ask, or wander the streets and search clues? You look like you're having a lot of fun with this whole situation, Yamato. That's a real change of pace. Guess detective work really plays well into those dark, stylized, chuny fantasies, huh? Hell no! What are you even talking about? Our next step, for those asking, is to head back to Radiola Kaikon. The door might have opened while we were searching. We should make use of it. 